I'm not sharing the screen? No. Okay, let me try it again. Okay, is it sharing now? It's starting. Yep, there you go. Okay, so this meet sheet is a general meet sheet form. All the teams in our zone and pretty much all of the zones across the nation will make a meet sheet like this. This is how we get our school meet sanctions. So a lot of the language will be exactly the same. The only thing I'm missing is the uh, Pacific Swimming logo because this is not a sanctioned meet by Pacific Swimming. I didn't put that on. The COVID part is all brand new. But when you're looking at these meet sheets, you're always going to see the meet personnel. So if you have any questions, their name and emails will be there. Um, the meet referee, the marshal, the head starter, and admin official are not people that you would reach out to. When you have questions about the team's meet, it goes to the meet director, which is our case, Jeff Reese. He is the group one and two coach, or two coach, excuse me. So on the swim meet, meet sheet, you always want to look at the pool. So you'll have an idea if the kids have a warm-up area. Now, group one, two, don't really need warm-up. They're really young. Their muscles don't produce lactic acid like the bigger kids and you and I do. So I'm, I ask them to participate in meet warm-up, but if you know your child is very grumpy in the morning and they don't wake up easy, don't bring them to a 7 o'clock warm-up because they will not want to swim any event. Come 9.30, 10 o'clock, they'll be ready for nap time. So that's why you want to check and see if there are lanes to the side. Our pool is pretty much the only pool that has no warm-up space. Most pools will have warm-up the same size as the competition pool. And um, the time, it'll tell you what time warm-up starts and end with what time the swim meet starts. So you always want to take a look at that. And because of COVID, the maximum of two athletes per lane, that is a regulation of, for other pools. So I didn't change that language so that you guys could see what other pools are doing. And um, City of Rota Park has let us use the more advanced USA swimming protocol. So the rules are pretty typical. They're mostly talking about um, bullying, um, there's no fighting on deck. It's kind of the same rules as school. There won't be any rules about swimming there unless this competition is like Far Western Junior National. So the more competitive your kids get, the more rules they will have. Um, unaccompanied athletes. So sometimes coaches don't go to every swim meet. So if there's a meet you want to go to and the coach isn't going to be there, this is the protocol you're going to follow. You do have to make sure that you get a racing start certificate from your coach before you leave if you do that swim meet. Um, restrictions, I don't know why they have this separate from rules because it's pretty much the same thing. It's, it's the city's rules on what you can't do at a pool because it's pools are also the rec pools. They just want to make sure you're not having a barbecue during a swim meet except the host pool because they have designated areas to so have to make sure there's so much space around the propane tank. So you can't bring your own barbecue grill, hibachi grill, nothing like that. You can't bring glasses and have wine and cheese at a swim meet. There is no alcohol at all in any swim meet in any form. So I say this because when we brought my aunt onto the team with <laughs> her kids, that was the first thing she did is she had a nice chest with wine and cheese and grapes. <laughs> But you never know what someone's going to bring, you know, with that being said, you also cannot bring beer. You will never find alcohol in a, in a swim meet because the ages are so young. They just don't want that around. Also, um, in the past, parents used to be really, really competitive. And, you know, alcohol doesn't help that kind of mentality to get really aggressive with your children. So, you have to make sure that I, as the coach, can control the adults. So I don't just control the kids, I'm also responsible for all of you. <laughs> okay, good luck. I know it sounds funny, I know, I know, but I'm the boss of everybody, and that's the last and only time you'll hear me say that. <laughs> okay? So eligibility, this one is important if you have kids who are in high school. High school kids can't compete for two teams. It's a weird little wonky rule. So what they do is they say unattached piranhas and they score points for their high school team during the high school team. So obviously with COVID, it's probably not a big problem this year. 
Um, hopefully they get a season, but we don't know. Most of the kids have been doing the swim meet. We don't have to worry about that because there are no other simultaneous sports. Um, swim meets, they do allow people who are over the age of 18. Uh, we don't ever have to worry about older kids coming to our pool. That's for the Olympians. They can go to any swim meet they want to try to pull time to secure their spot on national team. But this area will let you know what kind of kids will come to the So the swim meet is not always a flat fee. I did that for us just to make it simple because we're doing everything by paper this time. Um, the next time we do an inner squad meet, we'll try to do it online so that you guys can see what it's like to use fast swim. Uh, we don't do swim connection anymore. Swim connection is, is another program that they use to do entries. So again, there's no online entries, and all entries are going to be hand delivered. This is where you'll make the checkout. All teams will have this information on there for you. Um, awards, I am going to check the award cache so I know how many ribbons we have. I need to make sure we have enough for first, second, and third. I think we go through sixth place um, for our event, but we will have trick or treat bags to give to the kids after they swim their event so everybody will get that and this is the one time i'm really nice and let the kids load up on candy so they will get a bag of candy after every swim they do so you may want to tell your kids hey if you want to swim so jerica's going to give you a bag of candy every time you finish not a pillowcase but a little baggie all right it'll be nice and fun because i don't know if they get to trick or treat this year so the event summary is kind of nice um what it does is you just find your child's age group, whatever age they are, the day, the first day of the swim meet. So I know some kids have birthdays coming up and it's just after. You, you do want to check the eligibility section of a meet sheet because that will tell you if it is the age at the beginning of the meet or end of the meet. We're going to go on the first day of the meet. So if your child has a birthday on the weekend, the first day, Friday, they were... 11 will be 11 for the meet. The next will be the next age group. All right? So the way you fill out the sheet, we have all the events here with numbers that each even our boys, the odds are girls because ladies are going to go first. So when you scroll down to the meet sheet, the paper copy, you're just going to fill out the form, you know, the data entry stuff. So if you don't know your child's USA swimming number, we have made your number. It is on the Team Unify website. When you log into your account, you'll just open up the tab with your child's name. And it should be to the left of their birthday in the corner. It says USA ID. And that's the number you're going to put here. So it's one letter and number per box. So on the left side where it says event number, that's where you're going to place the number. If your child is a girl, it should always be odd numbers. If your child is a boy, it should always be even numbers. Then you're going to put the distance and the stroke. So these events are abbreviated in the event summary, but they're, well, they're still abbreviated on the um, full event lineup. So 11, 12, 50 fly is event three for a girl. So you'd put three here, 50 fly. You don't have to put a time if you don't know a time, but you can guess the time if you want. So, you know, a minute's pretty safe for everybody on the team. And it doesn't matter how many people have a minute. We'll just randomly assign them to lanes. Okay, you, if you put no time, just do N and T, all right? You don't have to circle anything for short course yards or long course meters. We know this swim meet is yards, so you don't have to do anything on there. On the, fl the flat fee, you're just going to pay the $20. You don't have to put the coach's name because that doesn't really matter. So one of the questions I have been getting often from everybody is, how do I know what events to put my kids in? So if your child is in pre-senior senior, they should fill this sheet out themselves. If your child is 11, 12, I would say they could fill this sheet out by themselves. Basically, it's going to be the events they like. So they know what strokes that they cannot do or they're not comfortable with. So they don't have to do every single event. That's not the goal. The goal is just to see how they feel going off the block, how it feels to be racing and not doing a practice. So if they only want to do one or two, that's fine. 
Um, if you want to know individually what your child knows, then I would talk to the coach of that group, and we can tell you what they're good at and what, what they need to improve on. But the way I would see it is I'd have them all do all the events because the way you practice is different than the way they swim in a meet. There's no, there's no anxiety or anxiousness to go. Okay. Does anybody have any questions on the meet sheet? Do I, um, so if I enroll both kids, so can I just make a copy of that? So do I have to do one for each child, right? Yeah, and I would just make a copy of just the card page. Right. You get one That's all I have to turn in, right? Yeah, just that last page. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and I'll just yeah, do a copy. Okay. Any other questions? For the eight and unders, um, for the relays, are they doing a 50? So the eight and unders have two options for relay. The 200 free relay is a 50. Okay. And the 100 medley is just one lap. Oh, it's 100 medley. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, we're not going to have them do two laps of butterfly. We're just going to have them do one lap. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anybody else have questions on Mishi before I move on to the next part? Nope. All right, the next thing is 